Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to Poplar Creek Farm. Probably can not see me. It's bright and sunny. It's awesome. Um, so I want to update you guys. A little something going on with our piggies. So when we got our Idaho pasture pigs, um, our breeding trio, we had known that um, our boar was older um, and they transport together. They all get put in one, you know, space together on the trailer. Um, and even prior to actually loading, it was witnessed that he bred one of the gelts at least. Um, the Kelly gelt, which is Isabella. Now we had known that, so we were given by the breeder um, medication called Lutalase, which just can help uh, prevent them from actually taking the pregnancy, you know, being bred. Um, we gave both pigs a dose. Now, the Kelly Gilt, um, which is just her lineage, uh, Isabella, did move with her first dose and so she didn't get her full first dose because she moved and jumped and so half it went everywhere um but the other guilt did and so we went ahead and gave isabella a second dose like a few days i don't know four days later give her a second dose and i've seen her go into heat she's definitely not bred um the other one questionable Now let me show you guys why I think it's questionable. So if she were bred, she would be due in about three weeks um, from today. So let me show you the two gilts. So this is the the petunia, or I'm sorry, this is the Kelly gilt that we witnessed breeding, but I've also witnessed her go back into heat. She's definitely not bred. Um, she actually just had a heat cycle and is due to go in with Bruno in about a week and a half. Now this gilt, if you look, look at the difference. So she's got quite a bit of space. She doesn't now, and I and I think her teeth are a little more developed. I don't know; it's so hard to tell. I could be totally wrong, and she could not be bred. Um, but I haven't really witnessed her go in heat. I've witnessed her mount. The other I've witnessed Mirabelle mount Isabella, but never Isabella mount Mirabelle. And the one that's being mounted is the one in heat. Um, and she's just carrying kind of low here, whereas this one's not. So. It's questionable that she's bred. We're going to keep a really close eye on her because we don't want to put her in with Bruno and have her get hurt um, if she is bred. But we will wait and see. And if she, if we notice either she goes into heat or um, or she just starts showing more signs of being bred, you know, we'll make sure that she is either separated or put in with Bruno. And then there's big boy Bruno, who will be the daddy. if he He's the daddy of, if she is bred. Um, but he will also be the daddy if we... Put them in with him soon uh either way isabella is going in with him um probably in before july 4th um because that's about when she should have her next heat cycle so we're gonna put her in just before that to make sure she gets bred this heat cycle but he is just a gentle giant he's a sweet boy such a good boy huh bruno so here's the thing we did what we could to try to make sure that she didn't get bred or wasn't bred um I know she got the full dose the first time and it may have reduced the litter size. So she may just have a couple of piglets if she is indeed bred. Um, but she may just be chunky and that just may be the way she looks. Again, I think the part that makes me most like question it is the fact that I've never seen her mounted. Um, and I don't know that I've really ever noticed major heat signs. I've always seen them in Isabella. And I just kind of thought, oh, Mirabelle's are just, like, milder. Like, she's just not as vocal, you know. Um, and again, I could be totally wrong. But if she is due, she's due in three weeks. And we need to basically just keep a close eye um, and prepare as if she is bred and hope that she's not. Um, that's kind of the thing. She's a, she's too early, really, to be farrowing. She's too young um, to be farrowing. So we ideally don't want her to be bred um, for her health for the litter's health and everything, we don't want her to be bred. Um, if she happens to be bred, more than likely she'll just remain a smaller gill and probably end up having smaller litters overall. You know, that may not be the case, but again, that's that's definitely a possibility that she will just stay smaller. 
Uh, most of the time they do just, it kind of stunts their growth a bit, which is fine. Um, if she doesn't have massive litters, but we have one that has good sized litters, you know, I'm happy. She'll be eight months old when she has her first litter, if she is pregnant um, and pharaohs. So again, too young, we ideally want them having a litter around their first birthday. Um, Isabella will be about 11, 11, 11 and a half months old when she pharaohs the first time because I want her to have them before her first birthday, um, which is fine. That's that's perfect. That's why she's being bred at this next heat cycle. And it's three months, three weeks, three days for um, their gestation. So we're going to keep a close eye, especially as the next few weeks go on, see her development, see if she has like vulvar, you know, her vulva changes. Um, very fun things to talk about, you know looking at my pig's vulva. This is, this is pig breeding. Uh, and also look at her teeth development and her underlying and just see if things change. Again, if not, we'll put her in and hope that she gets bred this cycle. Um, but we'll kind of, we'll kind of play it by ear and see and just, I've talked to a few people who have bred pigs um, and have had pigs and I've gotten, you know, obviously mixed reviews um but i have had a few people be like yeah i think i think she's i think she's bred it's one of those things it's just it's so hard to tell for sure i mean to me she just looked chunky until i started noticing her teeth were sticking out a bit more than the other one um hi girlfriend and she's just round so maybe she's just chunky She's definitely the bully of the two. She pushes the other one out of the way more often than not. So it could just be that she's just getting more food. And they're gonna move off this pasture. They're actually gonna start moving in here. We have to weed whack this down. Um, we're gonna move them through this way and then they can go into Bruno's pasture at the end um, in about two weeks. Hi, beautiful girl. Can you tell me if you're gonna have babies or not? Can you tell me? You're so pretty, I love you. <laughs> so my plan is basically over the next few weeks get everything ready that she you know that we will need and that she may need um for farrowing and which really isn't much i'm i am debating on getting like a piglet puller i think i'm gonna wait and see you know closer to if she actually is bred um because i don't want to buy it and not need it obviously it's probably not a bad thing to have but um, being that she is only going to be eight months old and she's going to have a smaller pelvis, um, there is the chance that, you know, piglets could get stuck a little bit easier. Now, I am a nurse um, and I actually was a labor and delivery nurse. That was my first job I took as uh, an RN. So I have at least some experience, not in pig birth, um, but in birth and assisting with birth. And I also have a friend that is close by um, that has had pigs pharaoh and it said, call me in the middle of the night if you need me, just call me. Um, and so I'm not super worried, but at the same time I am. It's just, <laughs> I'm like an anxious, anxious dad, like just waiting for the baby to come. Um, again, I hope she's not bred because ideally we don't want that at this age. And I would like to have her to have good litters in the future um, and to be good size and, and to be healthy. Um, this can cause issues with her as well. Um, you know, obviously it's risky to have babies this young. Um, she's not super, super young. They've had, there have been people who have had them, you know, breed on their very first heat cycle. Um, and then they're a little bit younger when they're farrowing. And it typically is okay. Um, I keep telling myself it's going to be okay. Egg. <laughs> freshly laid nice and warm um but it's one of those things i'm like definitely starting to run through all the things in my mind of what could go wrong what i need all the what ifs um i'm probably gonna have we have a tractor supply really close um but obviously they're not open 24 7 so i may just get i have goat milk frozen um but i may just get some either goat milk on here or some milk replacer just in case like I just want to be fully prepared. I don't want to be, you know, caught completely unprepared for this um, when I know that it's possi possibly happening. So, so thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Remember, we're growing today for a better tomorrow. Please like and subscribe and join me on the next one.